Welcome to the Daily Coffee Pro by Map It Forward, friends. I'm your host, Lee Safar, and today on the podcast, this is our second installment of our five part series, Preparing for 2023. And in this episode, we're going to talk about why you should be thinking about becoming a coffee consultant now. Hey, friends, tickets are now available for our new series of live workshops taking place in November and December. They're focused on getting coffee professionals and small business owners better prepared for 2023. There's one for coffee professionals, one for those looking to start or grow their business as a coffee consultant, and there's one for customer acquisition planning that's tailored to small business owners. Go to mapperforward.coffee forward slash events to grab tickets or check the show notes for details. I believe that this is the best time ever to become a coffee consultant. Hear me out. The coffee consumer has changed. The coffee business owner has changed. The tools that we have access to and the information that people would want from a consultant has all changed. And this is the time where people who are an expert at anything in coffee can find an audience that can help them build a fairly decent side hustle that could turn into a full-blown business. Now, I'm not suggesting that if you've been in the coffee industry for a year or you have been working in uh, a coffee roastery as a roaster for a year that you should be going and teaching business owners how to do anything. That's not what I'm suggesting. What I am suggesting is if you've been a professional barista for a year You may have picked up some skills that would enable you to coach coffee consumers how to brew coffee at home. That would make you the perfect coffee concierge online. And that's just another word for a consultant. And in that situation, your client is the consumer. Your job is as a consultant in that scenario is to help consumers brew the best quality coffee they can at home. And who better to help them do that than a barista, particularly one that they are familiar with and that they have an existing relationship with. Now, this is the perfect example of why I think given that quiet quitting is happening, given that we are in a scenario where people are choosing to want to work for themselves and want to build businesses for themselves and uh, people are uh, less interested in making squillions of dollars. They're happy to make uh, enough money just to get by because I think pr- pretty much everybody knows by this point that we're either in a recession or we have a significant uh, recession coming depending on what uh, country you're in. But empowering your career with multiple revenue streams so that you are not impacted if the business that you're working for goes out of business, this is an important time to be thinking about that. And And another shameless plug, we have a coffee consultants uh, workshop coming up in November uh, this month. Um, And it is for everybody who is thinking about who is, who is hoping to become, who is getting ready to all of the things around coffee consulting. This is a workshop for you, whether you are an expert with one year's experience or you're an expert with 20 years experience. This is a workshop that will help you figure out how you could get started as a consultant. I make multiple six figures as a consultant in coffee. I work extremely hard. I offer a money back guarantee on all of my consulting work and I have never had to give back a cent. This workshop is all about how do you add value, real value to people's lives by solving problems that they can't find the solutions to anywhere else in the way that you're going to be presenting them. And folks, that's what a consultant does. A consultant is there to point out the blind spots and to add value to somebody's experience, whether that be in business or whether they be in home brewing. Your job as a consultant is to add value in ways that the client finds more valuable than the money that they're parting with. And if you can find that niche that you are that you have a superpower in. My niche is people. 
my niche is helping people unpack information that's really difficult to understand and figuring out what it is they're trying to uh, achieve and finding the problems, finding the solutions to the problems that they want to solve. And that's how I'm a, uh, how my services become really valuable as a consultant. But if you ask me to be a coffee brewing consultant, that is no longer a superpower of mine. That is no longer a forte of mine. It's something I haven't done for probably six years professionally. And it's something I'm not uh, going to take the space of. But if you're a barista and you want a side hustle and you want to start building a business as a consultant, this is the time to start doing that. Equally, if you're a coffee roaster, there is a whole community of home roasters out there that could really use your help. But how do you establish that business? How do you plan that business? The workshop that we're going to be doing is one of a whole series of workshops that are coming in 2023 based around coffee consulting. And I'd encourage you to take the course uh, check the show notes for early bird links uh, that are just for listeners of this podcast. You'll get 10% off. And the reason I think this is important to planning for 2023 is because on the horizon, I see that a lot of zombie businesses out there are going to meet their time uh, in 2023. And what I mean by that, a zombie business is a business that is, they call it a zombie because it's the walking dead. Uh, these are businesses who have operated and and barely got by month to month for an extended period of time. And usually the owner is not taking any wages and the business is, the business is on its last legs. A lot of the time, this can also happen for businesses who may appear to be doing very well but are so heavily leveraged or they have a lot of debt um, that is going to be blowing up in 2023 because of increased interest rates. Now, if you are working for a business like that, it might be time for you to think about how do I, how do I hedge against the business I'm working for, impacting the quality of my life. Keep your day job. I'm not saying don't keep your day job. What I am saying is hedge for success by having a second, at least one other revenue stream. And we've made these workshops, all of them super affordable. I know the word affordable is subjective, but we think that this is affordable. It's $49 plus the booking fees, uh, which are just a couple of dollars. So head to the show notes, think about becoming a coffee consultant and uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace, love and peanut butter. Have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for tuning in, friends. There are two ways you can support this podcast. Firstly, become a paid member of our YouTube channel. Secondly, you can join our Patreon for as little as $3 a month. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video before you leave and check the show notes for more information. Now, this is what you should check out next.